Turn my mic up, please. Turn the mic up, please. Keep going. Oh, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop, Ricky. Keep going. We need it. Don't stop, Ricky. As everybody gets to their seats right now, don't stop. This is a wonderful year. Turn my mic up, please. Ricky Minor, turn it up, go. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that we are in the 47.5% tax bracket. But it's time, it's time to celebrate. Marinate, marinate, break it down. Now, marinate. Marinate even more. Ladies and gentlemen, if this ever, no, keep playing. If there's ever been a time to be excited about cinema, it's this year. Am I correct? We need just a little bit more of enthusiasm. Tom Hanks in the building right now. Tom Hanks is in the building right now. Stand up, Tom. Stand up, Tom. Go, Tom, right now. Tom Hanks. Hey, it's Tom Hanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Hanks is in the building. If there's ever been a time, let it marinate, marinate. Mar marinate. Listen, nothing against the years before this year, but this year, the sharks are in the water. The people that you've loved for a long time have come to play in a big way. I see Leonardo DiCaprio out there in the building right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let it go! Leonardo DiCaprio! I'll dance for you. Marinate! Marinate! Whoa! And sitting next to Leonardo DiCaprio is the chief director, Quentin Tarantino, in the building. QT! QT! Give it to me! Oh, yes! He got up! Marinate. Marinate on it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is you to be excited because I ran into a hero of mine. I ran into a hero of mine. I'm gonna, I, I'll see if you can guess who this hero is. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Murphy's in the building right now. It's a time, Bring it up. Eddie, come on up. Eddie, come on. Eddie, come on. I don't give a fuck, come on. Motherfucking Murphy, get on this stage, man. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Everybody. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Eddie I absolutely have nothing planned. <laughs> no, I don't, but just listen, as, as, as a kid watching you all these years, man, when I see you out here. <laughs> like as a kid growing up, how old are you? I'm 58. Yeah, I'm 58. Yeah. He said, you ain't that young, motherfucker. <laughs> all I can say is, Eddie, I'm glad that you're here, man. And what I saw in Dolomite, Listen, I never put you on the spot. I love you. That's all I want to say. I had to be on stage with you. Can we get this picture for my Instagram thing? <laughs> Hashtag that Eddie Murphy life, man. Give it up once again, Eddie Murphy. Let's go. Seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, this is a wonderful, wonderful night. They told me I had to riff for three or four minutes. <laughs> but all I can say is that if you really enjoy cinema, 
this year is a special year because it's, it's nothing against the newcomers. When you see the newcomers, it's always fantastic. But when you see your heroes giving us such great work, the Irishman, I mean, I mean, and I, it just feels great. And I feel great. And I'm gonna get off the stage now because I think my three or four minutes was, so I see a Scorpio in the building, Scarlett Johansson in the building, I just know your sign. I don't know why I know your sign. Does that make you feel weird that I don't know your sign? Scorpio's birthday coming up. You know, just some shit I want to say. You know, just, you know, just gotta say that. Uh, Leo's a Scorpio too, right? Uh, 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 Quentin is an Aries. And your wife is a Scorpio. See, I'll be knowing shit. That's all I'm saying. But ladies and gentlemen, on all seriousness, give it up for Ricky Miner, who's been rocking, rocking us for years. Ricky Minor, Scorpios and Leos and Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius. Marinate! Marinate, ladies and gentlemen, now it is time. It is my honor to introduce the president of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts, and Sciences, Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet right now because we're filming this. Get on your feet, ladies and gentlemen, for David Rubin in the building. All right then. Good evening and welcome on behalf of the Board of Governors of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. I, I would like to give special thanks tonight to, to Jennifer Fox and her team for producing this evening's celebration. This is actually Jennifer's second year at the helm of these awards, which, which proves that she has a producer's perfect combination of leadership, creativity, and a very short memory. Uh, this evening, we also thank Rolex for their continued generosity and sponsorship, a long-standing champion of arts and culture. We're grateful for the year-round support of the Academy, and particularly the Academy's Museum of Motion Pictures, which will open in 2020. And that is a promise. That is a promise. And you can set the alarm on your Rolex right now. Uh, Though this marks the unofficial start of award season, tonight is so different from Oscar night in so many ways. I mean, there, there are no nominees, there are no envelopes to open accidentally. This is an, <laughs> this is an anxiety free zone. So rare in this town, so welcome and, <laughs> and so needed. This is a Hollywood party in the best sense. It's an opportunity to celebrate four family members in our filmmaking community for their extraordinary accomplishments. Not over the past year, but over time. Achievements that inspire us and, and, and stand to leave a lasting imprint on our culture for years to come. Our, our presenters tonight will go into detail why these individuals were chosen. What I'd like to fill you in on is how they were chosen. It all happens on one special night, a gathering of the Academy's 54 governors who rather joyously suggest, make speeches about, lobby for, and vote on possible honorees. With no professional agendas, it is just a robust, upbeat conversation about colleagues whose work we love, whose incredible focus, creativity, and passion have touched our hearts and minds, and who've made a difference. At the end of the night, the Academy's president has the rare pleasure of picking up the phone and calling the chosen honorees, sometimes waking them up out of a deep sleep, and out of the blue, telling them that they're getting an Oscar. This ceremony is the result of the dedication of our governors, volunteers representing the Academy's 17 branches. And I'd like to acknowledge them for their commitment to the Academy and to its mission. And so we can all thank you. Will our Board of Governors please stand?
Okay, sit down, meeting's adjourned. Uh, as it turns out, this year, our four honorees fall perfectly in line with where our board hopes to lead the academy. David Lynch represents... <laughs> David Lynch represents the bold and fearless creativity we encourage in all of our members. Gina Davis's tireless work Her work mirrors our own efforts toward gender parity in the Academy's roster. We're doing it. <laughs> West Duty's sheer talent. <laughs> West's sheer talent is emblematic of the bar that we set when we invite new members to join us. And Lena Wertmuller. Lena Wertmuller is the ideal example of why we have declared ourselves a global academy, a community of filmmakers from around the world. Welcome, Lena. And now, please raise a glass for a toast to these honorees. In gratitude for all you've done for motion pictures, for all you mean to movie fans around the globe, and for the inspiration that you've given us all. Cheers. Cheers. And bravo. <laughs>